Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about hedgehogs. <laughs> yes, that's that's what that little pokey thing is. And so in this video, I wanted to talk about um, bonding with your hedgehog and being able to handle them because I do get that question a lot about hedgehogs. And so yeah, let's uh, let's dive into that. Now for this video, I am using Wilbur, my hedgehog. I have two hedgehogs, two males. Uh, one is about four and a half years old and Wilbur's about two and a half years old. So Wilbur is actually my more friendly of the two hedgehogs. Both are actually pretty friendly, but um, Wilbur's the uh, friendliest. Now for the sake of this video also, I am filming um, during the day, so it's about noon. And um, Wilbur was just taken out of his cage just right before I started filming this video. And so for the reason, the reason for that is that I want to show um, how hedgehogs respond when they're not too happy. And for this, you're, you're going to be pretty familiar with it if you do have a hedgehog. So he is completely um, curled up. Actually, I think he's asleep. They do sleep like this. I think he's asleep. <laughs> my hedgehog went to sleep during the video. Great! <laughs> Some of the things I wanted to talk about with hedgehogs is that, for example, first of all, this is not a good time for him to be waking up. Although he did have to do that a few uh, days ago because they got their checkups at the vet's office. And that was during the day. But typically, these guys, you want to handle them in, more in the evening. They are a nocturnal species. They're not really going to want to be awake during the day. So that's the first thing is that trying to handle them during the day and them not responding well could just be that they are tired and you know if somebody woke you up in the middle of the night or me super early in the morning uh, I'd be kind of grumpy so that's one thing I wanted to talk about and then because he is so friendly I kind of wanted to show more of his grumpy side for the sake of the video so that's another reason to do it a little bit earlier uh, now the next thing that I wanted to talk about is that oh you're waking up is that um, hedgehogs have very poor eyesight, but they have an amazing sense of smell and they do have good hearing. So when you're going to pick up your hedgehog, you don't wanna just go in there and grab it. That's scary. They're not gonna know what's going on. They're gonna be confused. Uh, they're not gonna know who it is. You could be something trying to eat them. And so uh, what I wanna do when I'm getting my hedgehog is I want them to be able to smell me. Oh, see? Yeah, he's familiar with my scent. So now he's coming out from a ball. Hello. His eyes are so sleepy. Poor thing. So he uh, he came out from a ball now because he could smell me because I put my hand close to his face. Now, uh, one of the things with hedgehogs is that a lot of people don't understand how bad their eyesight is and how you need to be like, hey, I'm here, I'm gonna pick you up and go slow, that they start to aggravate the hedgehog and scare it. And so that results in some hedgehogs having really bad temperaments where they just start biting whenever they're around humans. So that's one of the things is that you want to go slow, you wanna let them smell you, uh, the sound of your voice can also help, but I've found that uh, your smell is a lot more helpful. Uh, with these types of animals also, is that you want to smell like yourself and not food. So you don't want to put lotion on or something like that and then go and try to handle them. Um, then if your hands smell fruity or something like that, they might take a chunk out of you just because they thought it was a snack. He is just so sleepy. But you can tell now that he is, well, now that I'm getting too close to his face, but you can tell now that he is starting to become more relaxed. And actually, I think the sound of my voice is kind of annoying him. I guess it would if you're trying to sleep. <laughs> and now if you've gotten a new hedgehog and you want them to become familiar with your scent, uh, what you can do is take a used um, clothes item like a sock or something small, or a shirt, and put it inside of their cage, uh, put it in their bedding um, it, where they sleep. That way they start becoming familiar with your scent. I do that with my sugar gliders, um, opossum, things like that. And 
that helps them understand that the scent is something that is familiar, something that's not going to hurt them, and if they, when they smell it, they don't have to be worried about anything happening at that moment. So with these guys, it's a lot about scent and just going slow, being patient with them. And it can be difficult. Um, I think people really like hedgehogs because they have this adorable little face, but then once they get them, they realize how much these things can hurt. Besides them actually being super pokey, um, hedgehogs can actually um, move their muscles in order to make them more spiky. Like see, he's kind of doing it now, not too aggressively, but they can actually flex and make these little pointy things really stick into you. Um, and on top of that, um, sometimes they make them very dirty and so when they poke your skin it'll actually cause like a rash or um, be very irritating because they sometimes keep their quills dirty. So sometimes people think they're allergic to hedgehogs but it could actually be that the hedgehog is just um, you know needing a bath or um, the, the actual urine and poop like that is what is causing skin irritation and not the hedgehog itself. See, now he's very relaxed and I can actually press my hands all along his spines and it's not hurting me at all because he is relaxed with me. He's actually kind of cold. I'm gonna wrap him up. He is a tired little guy. Uh, but yeah, that is some of the things that I wanted to go over in this video. You can see in other videos too, uh, I'll throw in a clip. He is a super friendly little guy that is, once you get him out during the right time of the day, he is um, just really active, and both of my hedgehogs are actually. So I hope this helped you learn more about hedgehogs and learn how to be around them and how to handle them because I think some people get a little too excited about it and then their hedgehog has a bad experience and from there it can just get worse and worse. But the important thing with hedgehogs is to just be very patient and to understand how they perceive things in the world. Um, as humans, sometimes that's kind of difficult because we perceive a lot of things through sight and we expect other animals to be that way as well, but that is not always the case. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel to see more hedgehog videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!